so system copy so what we are doing we are exporting fresh export again now yesterday also we done it but uh, we are doing the fresh export swpm export we are doing then same swpm we are doing the import option these all are called the system copy options export import option or system copy source system export import into the target system here so those are the options we are checking now right so system copy options here so for this one on the same system we can import we can build the new system using the system copy we can build a new system so instead of building the new vanilla system plain system and getting the data in the in the exam in the same in the same step we can export it we can create a new new system with the data also that time in the system copy is the best option to do this one system copy also the heterogeneous migration heterogeneous copy means migrations migrations also we can perform it the migrations also we can perform it here migrations also we can perform it so i think we did the wrong selection i think here instead of system copy i think installation i think we have chosen let me go back here Why? Because in the starting point itself, it is asking the. Uh, sir, in a my you have said the migration. What type of migration is a OS migration or something like? I think uh, for database migration. OS migration, DB migration, both will can perform it using the SWPM tool. Okay, heterogeneous. Heterogeneous migration. Yes, SWPM tool that is the option is available. As I have seen that option, right? While exporting, it will ask the what is the target database. Then if you are changing the target database, suppose like if you are choosing the HANA database, so that is the target database, right? That is the target database, we can choose it. So target means that is a migration. That is the color of the migration. It's going to be migrate. Software's SWPM tool, uh, SAP INST. So with SWPM, we can do exports, I mean, so, uh, installations, uninstallation, rename. So adding the additional application server, you can see a lot of scenarios, a lot of advantages. So we can do that one. So now 7.5 SQL server. So we selected the installation actually. That is the wrong one. We need to select the system copy, source system. Then source system export database exports so otherwise if you go to the target system target system installation above then standard system with copy of this one we can do that one now we are doing the source system export we are doing right click on the export option uh, so yesterday also you did same thing right yeah, yeah same, and... same thing only I, I did it so but that export mm -hmm. not happened so now uh, I'm just now initiating, it will be complete. The small oh, system okay. I'm initiating the export, it will be completed. So you don't want to do, uh, you know, maybe, maybe means if you don't want only to do all those things means, so I can directly uh, go for the import option in the review parameter section, I can come, I can cancel the section, section as well. Okay. Let me show you these options. Then I can cancel in uh, review parameter sections. Then in the import option also, I can show you so that we can complete this topic as well. Let's see how it will go.
so profile directory so profile directory so with system we'll go we'll go for np1 system export build the new system so same data will come So password. Well, because to place the files at the operating system level, it will ask the passwords. So that's why. So we have given the passwords here. What I can do here, I will create the SWPM export folder. I will create it here. It will ask the folder so that it will be exported. So let's check the DB size for this one. How much DB size we have? Go to DBA cockpit. Space over you. It's like a total size is the 22 GB allocated. So in that 12 GB got occupied. So free is the 10 GB. Okay. So which means so total size is the 22 GB. 12 GB is only space. So it is occupied. So it may finish quickly. So let's see. It won't take much time. So use the dedicated kernel, which means source and target, you should use the dedicated kernel. If you don't choose that option, that export location, manually stop the export location, that is fine. Just go to the, the folder which you created. Why? Because it will dump the data here. So dump the data, whatever that is. What it will do, it will exporting SWPM tool. If I give the here, so what it is doing here, this is the system, this is the file system. So this is the SAP system. So this is the tool you started here. This tool will connect to the SAP. This tool will connect it. So it will connect to the SAP. It will dump the data to the database level. It will dump the data to the database level. It means it will, it will export the data. Then this file, we can move to the anywhere. Anywhere we can move to the any location, any server or different server or same server, we can move it. From there, we can on the OS, we can start it. So we can do the system copy target system installation. It will be finished. So what is the target system database here? Here, this is the very important here, right? So this is the very important thing here. So target system, target system installation here. If you go to the here, you can see it here. We have the, all the details here, right? So suppose this source is the Oracle, source is the SQL server, target is the Oracle. Then it is the migration, DB migration. So both are same, so same only. So depends upon your database, whatever the database you are going to choose it, you need to choose it, just click on the next button here, right? Both are same, our source and target is home. We are not going to do the migration. Just we are doing the, so just homogeneous only, homogeneous system copy only we are performing. So that's the reason, so we are choosing this option. So SMIZ DDL statements is not required to take it out. Why? Because we are not doing any migrations related activities. Migrations means DB is just changing, but the data is same. The data, the tables, everything is same. Only data, the data is getting, the data is same. Only DB software is getting changed from the SQL to HANA or different location here. System copy means homogeneous means it should be same OS should be same db should be same only you are creating the new system with the copy of the all the data of the existing system that is the 
the main thing here homogeneous system copy so new export from scratch yes so, parallel execution so use the parallel execution here yes we want to use the parallel execution parallel execution means so uh, multiple process will do the export option here so that is the thing here just click on the next button so number of jobs parallel jobs here i can make it five so so that parallelly it will do the exports so that jobs how you choose in the number means it depends upon our cpus how many number of cpus are there based on that we need to choose it here so here we have the 10 uh, 10 cpus process virtual process are there then in that 50 percent only i am using for this migration why because you can see only five percent cpu utilization to 17 percent is only free if i use the 15 percent only 60 percent only free 60 percent only used remaining 40 percent so it's a free only so that's why i am using only five threads five parallel jobs so means only 50 percent i am using here so now you see so while doing your export time everything is fine but only thing is the there is a one option your export option here in this case it will be here this phase will take longer time here to export this is the main phase here this is the main phase it will take very longer time here it will do to see here now it will do the export option and after that we can do the import options and everything here So while it is doing export import option, so what is the our next thing which we have to discuss in a to do? This is on a level to do list table partitioning add ons and a cockpit. So resident HDB LCM, these parts will cover it in the HANA database. SAP side, I think this is only one thing is pending, but remaining part of the HANA side, we can cover it. So HANA cockpit, that is, we can cover it resident hdb lcm that we can cover it now add-on installations also we can cover it now these two parts okay so let's keep the installation is running so let's keep the installation is running here while installation is running here so let me go back to the what i will do i will split the recording here 